print off the contacts, you can do it one of a couple of ways. You can either do them individually, or you can do it like the current view is in the phone list, the entire phone list. So let's do it individually. Double click on carry, then come up here, click on the file tab, go backstage, and go down to print. And there you go. You get a print preview. What you see here is what's going to be coming out of your printer. Click on it to zoom in to get the full page view, the actual size when it comes out of your printer. And then down below you've got the box if you have more than one page and you want to jump to page like 5 out of 10. Just come in here, type in 5, hit enter, and it'll take you right to page 5. And then over to the right hand side you have the actual size, which is the same size as the zoom in. And then you can go ahead and do the one page. So you get an overall view of it. If you have more than one page and you want to take a look at those additional pages, it'll have to cram them in here when you choose multiple pages. So if you had three, you'd have one, two, three thumbnails here of those pages. So you can get a brief look of what's going to be printing, which leads up to the print options. Go ahead and click on that. Instead of printing all the pages, if you have more than one, take note from down below because the default is all. It says, look, if you just want to print pages three, or 5 through 12, or a combination, like let's say we want to print pages 2, comma 5, comma 6 through 12. There you go. So only pages 2, 5, and 6 through 12. And you can print attached files by checking the box, and you can change the number of copies if you want additional copies. And then if you want, after you made the changes here, click on Preview to update the preview window because what you see here is what's going to be coming out of your printer. So if you chose certain pages, and you had a total of 20 and you only chose three, you should only see three down below here. Now you can do it that way if you want to print off based upon one contact in the memo style. Let's go ahead and hit back and close out. Or if you want to print the entire view here, which is the phone view, then just leave it in this view. Come up here, click on the file tab, go backstage, go down to print. And well, there's the memo style because I had carry selected. I still get that option, but if I want to do the table style, the phone view, there you go. Click on it to zoom in. It's got everybody. And we got a second page because it couldn't squeeze all those columns. Let me go back. You see the columns here? Well, you've got more. As you scroll over to the right, and if you're like, oh, rats, I just want to print one page, and I'd like to include their email, you can, of course, click and drag and move these over. There's the email. I think it'll fit to be included in that first page. And then, of course, you can go ahead and click on File to Print. But if you want to include just selected contacts within the print, either under the memo or as the table style, then I got carry selected. Hold down the Control key and click on a few others. So I have a total of three. Then go backstage, click on File, go down to Print. And the memo style, well, because there's multiple items that are selected, it's going to take a few moments to preview it. Come on, preview, preview. There you go. We have a total of three that we have selected that's going to come out memo style. All three. And like I said, you can come down here and type in one, hit enter, jumps right to page one. Then for the table style, well, it includes everybody here unless when you come to the print options, let me click on it, you say that you want only selected rows. Then click on preview and click on it to zoom in, only these three. Go back to print options. And again, you can choose to print all the pages or just certain pages. And then, of course, when you're done, make sure you do a preview of it to see over here. It's what you want because what you see in the print preview is what's going to be coming out of your printer. So make sure it looks all grisly. And then go ahead. When you're done, click on the big P, the print. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.